Hello everyone, and this is Rahul Srivastava from Infotech Solutions. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about the web application testing. So, in previous videos, uh, we have seen that we have uh, we have done the testing of uh, I mean a Windows-based application that was a flight reservation. But in this uh, video, I'm going to test the login and logout functionality of Gmail. Fine, so I'm going to open a new test case, okay, and I'm going to name it as, for example, gmail underscore log, okay. So I click on create. Okay, so we're on the page of the same. I mean we have start and and actions So I'm going in action and now I'm going to open the recorded settings. Okay uh, In previous videos uh, when we covered the windows based application the flight reservation So we used this uh, as the input and now I'm using this web tab to uh, record, I mean, to test the web application. So again, we have two options available here. One is uh, one radio button, that is the record and run test on any open web browser. So if I select this, uh, I need to open a web browser and whatever link I start opening, it will keep uh, recording the same. Or second option uh, available with us, that is I provided a base URL. So it will termed as the base one. So it will start recording uh, with the same URL, okay? And the beneath option, the below option, we have this uh, web browsers options available. Right now I'm having only uh, Explorer, IE. So that's why I'm going to select this one and click on apply and okay. So if you see, uh, it has started the google.com, fine. So I need to test, as we need to test the Gmail login, so I'm clicking on this Gmail. Okay, so it recorded one as a process, one click. Now I am going to put an, uh, I mean a standard checkpoint, just to check that we are on a Gmail login page. Okay, if you see the properties available here, I'm going to provide 10 seconds as a delay okay internet explorer 7 okay now this is already having my email id okay so i'm going to put the password here i'm going to click on the sign in button okay Fine, so it will open uh, the home page of my email ID. Okay, this one. I'm going to put another checkpoint here and I'll put it, for example, at this email ID. So if you see the browser is Gmail inbox, again, Gmail inbox, and the web page is Gmail inbox again, and the web element is this one. So I'm clicking on OK. This is the HTML tag, the property, the inner text values, this one. I'm giving it, for example, 15 seconds to turn up as a timeout. Okay. So now I'm going to sign out it while with clicking the sign out button. So I'll be redirected to the uh, again the login logout page of or sign in sign out page of Gmail. I'm going to put another checkpoint which is, for example, bitmap checkpoint. Okay, so I am putting bitmap checkpoint as I told you it is used for a kind of image. So this is the image I am putting on this. So after sign out, uh, this image should turn up, right? So I am clicking on this. See, this is an image. Okay, these are the properties of it. I am giving it 10 seconds as a timeout and click OK. Fine, now I am going to close it and stop the recording okay so if you see uh, the steps available with us nine steps we have performed if you want to switch the view to keyword view you can watch the keyword view as this one okay you can expand all the steps fine if you able to see uh, opened we opened the google then gmail then Google, we created a set a checkpoint there. 
then the gmail window we provide the password as I said secure the click on sign in button and the next page that was the gmail inbox in which we put up a checkpoint on the Rahul and click on the sign out then again a web page that was the gmail underscore 2 uh, the photo we put up a checkpoint here as well and the gmail tool synchronization and close all tabs okay so I'm again going to the editor expert view. Now I'm going to run this test case. Okay, so let's see after running how the QTP response is on this particular test case. Okay, so it opened google.com, clicked on Gmail, so opening Gmail, provided password, click on sign in. Okay, next step is it is going to have a checkpoint. I hope it. It applied it click on the sign out button and all tabs closed okay good so this is done let let us see the report which is generated right now automatically okay if you see here the gmail underscore log that the test case is passed now this is the time taken by the test case the run started on 112.22 and when I did this one so it took uh, overall 19 seconds to run this whole test case okay if you see here this is one passed and in one iteration we have three test case as passed or three steps